each and every panel will pull up to approximately 240 watts of free power from the sun. It's really key to design the location of the garage. So make sure that it faces almost south. That's why I can take advantage of the southeast side and the southwest side, morning sun to afternoon sun. So you can use this in any area to figure out the, the best amount of sun you're gonna get? Absolutely, there's a GPS on this and you basically go on your roof and there's a fisheye lens and it measures the access to sun. For Mike's garage, we are putting up 40 panels. We're gonna put 20 on either side of the roof to max out his system at close to 10 kilowatts. Steve from Better Contracting had to install all the nuts and bolts on the roof because we want to make sure it's watertight. So once that was done, Pure Energies came and they installed all the rails, 40 solar panels. I'm thinking to myself, this is going to be a lot of work getting these up there, but they're actually quite light. Paul brought them up on the lift. It was easy to do. What I like about the panels is once they've snapped them down in a place, they're plug and play. So each panel goes in, took them no time to do one side of the uh, garage, and then the other side, like literally two days, they were installed. Yeah, and then Paul ran all those wires down to the inverters, the Sunny Boys, and then ran it through the conduit to the Sunny Islands, and last but not least, the batteries. I remember watching you help with the batteries here. These are 175 pounds each. These are heavy. They're two volt. Everyone's gonna think they're a 12 volt or a 24 volt or a two volt, which allows that really a longer lasting life. And what's cool about this pure energy from the solar panels on the roof, charging these batteries, gives me 24,000 watts of power. It's a lot of power. This thing's off the grid. To be off the grid, it means that you're not dependent on your local utility. The idea for Mike's Garage is that it will be off the grid. It'll have a number of different resources of energy it can use. They'll have a generator, the solar on the roof, and it'll also have the battery bank. You know, working with Paul from Pure Energies, everything was just efficient, everything was professional. Even putting these 175 pound batteries in, it was hard, but he brought his lift in. All of us worked together to get it in. I mean, I guess if we were lifting these in, it would probably be a different story. Yeah. <laughs> We've got the overspill tray underneath. In just case, in case. Just in case. And your eye wash station. It's all about safety with them. We want to see this. We want to you know, showcase this. At the same time, having 20 panels on the east side and the west side, this property faces southwest. So we get that morning sun that comes up, boom, starts charging the batteries right across to the other side. Late afternoon, then she drops down on the trees on the far side, constantly giving a charge that's necessary, but never overcharging it. So the smart thing behind us right here, the sunny islands, I'm telling you, he says, okay, the battery's got enough, let's put it somewhere else. Yep. You know, let's trickle charge, let's give it a full charge, because it can take like 6K, 6,000 watts to charge these batteries. They're just a state of the art. This is all new technology. That's what I love about this. Yep. New, new, new. We have an opportunity now to go back in time and actually live like we used to, but produce our own power.